Hey friends, today we are going to plant these beautiful massive aquapots here at the nursery. If you have followed Creekside for any length of time, you know that we have had these gorgeous um, two massive aquapots right here in front of our pergola because when you come into the nursery, like you first come around, like this is one of the very first things that you see. And we want to make a nice big impact because of course we are a retail nursery where we want to inspire and just give people inspiration on their gardens. So I really enjoy filling these up with big, beautiful color every single year. It is just really fun to do and to create. So today what we're going to do is we are going to plant these for um, our summer season and these will take us all the way through the fall. Now Jerry has already helped me out and filled up the aqua pots with the great premium winter's potting soil that we use and the compost down at the bottom. So if you have an aqua pot and you want to do that method um, where we use the compost in the bottom one third. What we like to do first is put the Proven Winners potting soil in first and fill up the soil tube that's in the bottom. That way it has, because this Proven Winners potting soil has more pine bark in it. And so while it soaks up the water, it's not going to become really compacted like maybe the compost would if it were in the very bottom. So potting soil, then your layer of compost and then finally finish it up with the rest of the potting soil. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go with bold bold colors that you can see right here. We are going to use some tried and true plants that are fantastic but we're also going to use two brand new introductions that are going to be available next year in 2024. So I'm going to go through first and I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and plant it and then talk about the plants that I'm going to use as I do it. So we kind of follow that thriller filler spiller recipe, right? So you want a thriller, something that's tall. Depends on where your container is, um, whether you put it in the center or the back. Today we are going to use the beautiful skyrocket grass. This is a beautiful variegated grass that will get nice and tall and full nice green in the center with some creamy um, white margins on it. You will notice that I do not break up my roots. I don't need to break up my roots. These are nice and healthy. This is not at all what we would consider a root bound plant and I do not need to go in there and hack it. Because these pots are up against these poles, I'm going to put my grass in the dead center. You know me, I have to get in here because if you stand to the side, it could get off a little bit. And once these, once these containers have soil and water in them, you're not really moving them because they get so big. So I'm trying to make sure that it is dead center with the pole. So there we go, skyrocket grass in there. Now on each side, I'm going to do the annual of the year. This is the Gumfrina. This is the Truffula Pink. Really fun plant in that it has a very different texture than my grass beautiful pink and yellow flowers on it. This will get nice and full and really kind of open and airy and almost a little bit of a spike to it. This is a huge butterfly attractor. Really nice if you're looking to attract butterflies to your garden. This is one that you want to put in. Very drought tolerant, loves, loves the full sun and is a really nice forgiving plant. If it were to get snapped off like you if you're like me, you have, you know, a dog that sometimes runs through your flower beds or you have kids or, you know, just life in general, right? And part of this plant gets snapped off. Don't worry about it. It comes back really nice and will regrow and do really nice. Now I'm going to put this on each side of the grass, keeping in mind that my grass is going to get nice and big. So I'm going more towards the edge. Now I am planting this container for longevity. Excuse me, when we get done today, you might go, well, it looks a little thin. Yes, because we are blessed with a really long growing season here in North Carolina, and I am not having an event this weekend where I need it instantly full. I want to watch this grow and develop, and so it's gonna have some space in there for things to grow and develop, and that's okay. It all depends on what your goal is as to how you're going to plant it. Now, next, for my filler, I am going to use the uh, Laguna Compact Blue with I. This is a nice, deeper, richer blue than I believe it's sky blue. Um, 
and it has that white eye in the center of it. Nice, open, airy look to it and will bring um, a nice color contrast to the pink and the yellow. So I'm gonna use two of these and they're gonna go in front of the grass a little bit off to the side. So we're gonna stick those in there. And then we're gonna do another one. You can tell with this habit, it is very like open and loose and free. That will be perfect to fill in here in the center. And basically this container is just gonna, um, they're all gonna kind of marry together, right? Everybody's just gonna kind of grow into each other, be really um, happy, one happy little family in here. So we get that, shove it in there. And you can be, you do not have to be super tender with these plants. Like they're a lot tougher than people think. All right, now, fun, fun color. Two brand new for next year. This is the Supertunia um, Saffron Finch gorgeous yellow petunia now true yellow and what's really fun is it kind of has that ombre look to it so in the center it's a nice rich rich yellow and then it fades ever so slightly to like a creamy white edge it is a gorgeous plant you can tell it's a very happy vigorous plant we've been growing this in the greenhouse since february i believe it was so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alternate the new Saffron Finch with the new improved Bermuda Beach. So I'm gonna alternate back and forth. So this is going to be my spiller. Yes, it's gonna come up some, but it is also going to spill over the front of this pot. So just find whatever, whatever side looks good, tuck that in. Now, the improved Bermuda Beach. Bermuda Beach, Super Tunia Bermuda Beach is not a new petunia, right? It's been on the market. Proven Winters has had it for years. They improved it so it's a more richer, vibrant color. The blooms on this thing are massive. They are huge. Has a really nice creamy white eye to it. That means the center of the flower is a nice creamy white with a little bit of yellow. So it really pairs quite nicely with the Saffron Finch. I'm gonna plant these pretty close to each other, about, I don't know, six to eight inches apart because I do want them to grow basically as one plant. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret because right below Jerry in the camera is the flower bed, there we have a flower bed, and that's where um, we have that nice big, it's the Asian water bowl from unique stone and we have the little lime standard in it well, right now it's full of gorgeous violas but here in a couple weeks those are going to come out because tis the season they're going to be gone and i'm going to put the brand new super bells prism pink lemonade so the prism pink lemonade is a calabrocoa a super bell that has is both yellow and pink together on the same flower so i am not mimicking but i am complementing these two um, containers with that same kind of color scheme so while they are completely different plants the color scheme is going to be very similar and go together quite nicely that brings that cohesiveness to your garden if you can repeat some of those same colors um, maybe it is the same plant i absolutely could have put the pink lemonade in here However, I have these beauties available to me and um, the flowers on this are a lot larger, right? Than a Super Bell, big container. I need big flowers here to make a nice big impact. Now, yes, at this moment, are my petunias kind of the <laughs> a little bigger than everybody else? They are, and it's okay. Um, because probably what I'm going to do, and that's just the age of the plant, right? So that's just that these petunias were planted in, gosh, like mid-February. We got them really early this year. So these are more mature plants than these in the back. This Gumfrina, we just planted, I don't know, three weeks ago. Um, and so they've got some catching up to do. 
it's not going to be a problem but what you can do is i would probably come through here periodically and just kind of pinch the petunias back not all at one time because i don't want to lose my flowers but just make sure that these are growing this way and not this way so that everybody can um, really get nice and happy this is just the beginning of a container right so Again, I am planting this for longevity, not for instant impact immediately. If I was you know, having a party or something, then I would probably plant this very differently um, as far as like making sure that all my plants are the same size, so forth, fill it in and not have any holes. So I've got the holes here, but everything is just gonna fill in. This grass is gonna get nice and tall, very wispy. Then I have that hard structure of my gum frina with that pink popping through the grass all at the same time. Nice filling in with some blue and then the pink and the yellow spilling over. It's gonna be fantastic. Now, what I'm gonna do is I am going to add some slow release fertilizer just sprinkle it on the top of here and then always with my containers i go through and i top dress with compost that just helps even though it's an aqua pot right it helps retain the moisture on the top it helps prevent weeds from coming in um, it helps the give the plants some more um, continuous slow release food because compost is food release that and then um, we'll get it all watered in i'm going to show you how to do all of that in just a second Alright, so I've got this fertilized and I have got it um, top dressed with some compost. Once I get the other one done, then we'll come back and water. Um, so we're going to do, we're going to move over. I'm going to plant the companion piece to this one the exact same way, use the exact same method. And then um, stay tuned because as we wrap up, I want to share with you some very helpful, uh, helpful hints and tips to really ensure that you have great success with your containers all growing season long because there's a couple of things that you can do throughout the growing season that will ensure that your containers stay big and beautiful all season so one down one to go my friends so we got both aqua pots planted very happy with them cannot wait to see how these grow and develop throughout the growing season all right a couple of tips and hints on these containers um, one do not be afraid to pinch back or help manage your plants as they go throughout the growing season now one thing that i forgot to mention or rather point out on these petunias the improved bermuda beach and then the saffron finch these are trial plants right for us they are going to be introduced next year in 2024 proven winners sends these to us in february because we are a grower 
not only do I want to see how they grow in my garden and in my containers, as a grower, I want to see how they grow for us. Do they have a more compact habit? Are they more open and leggy? Um, because we don't use growth regulators, do we need to grow them more colder so they stay nice and tight? So we do not really, we just kind of let them go. We want to see what their natural habit is going to be. Um, so far, it seems like they're going to be very vigorous and very happy. So maintain, if you need to pinch back your super tunias or your super bells, do it. They bloom on new growth. You are not going to hurt those plants. You want to make sure that you're giving consistent water and fertilizer. These plants, your flowering annuals, are going to be heavy feeders. That is why I put slow-release fertilizer on the top. You will notice that I put slow-release fertilizer in the water reservoir because this aquapot is quite large, right? It's at least three feet tall. Half of this container is nothing but water. That is the water reservoir. So when you put that slow-release fertil fertilizer in there, you've got some good fertilizer water. So that is a tip. If it's not an aqua pot, make sure, again, you add that slow-release fertilizer in there. I always tell people, use the biggest container that your space will allow. A bigger container means more soil. More soil means more room for the roots to grow and it's gonna be a happier plant. Please do not put, um, like fill your pot halfway up with some sort of, you know, packing peanuts, water bottles. You're not helping your plants because those plants cannot get nutrition from plastic bottles or pine cones or what have you. They need to have as much soil as they possibly can. That is just a pet peeve of mine as a grower because we know more soil means more nutrition, more moisture for these plants to grow and be happy. And then, um, of course, that regular fertilizing. You need to be fertilizing, especially your flowering annuals, with a water-soluble fertilizer like Proven Winters. Proven Winters says every third watering. If you can do it once a week, that's amazing. If you can't do once a week or you have to do every other week, do that. But you will notice a massive difference in when you fertilize and feed these plants, you will have beautiful dark green foliage. You will have big, beautiful blooms. Because that's the one thing that people say when they come to the nursery is that everything's gorgeous and in bloom and nice and full. It is because Jerry feeds them on a regular basis. Food equals flowers. You need to make sure that you feed them. And so really the consistent water, the consistent food, big nice container full of high quality potting soil makes all the difference in the world. Of course, we'll keep you updated on how these containers do. Very excited about it. And uh, yeah, it's a fun day here when we get to plant up our aqua pots. As always, thanks so much for gardening with Creekside. Y'all have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.